Here with Bethel University after their 8-6 victory over Buena Vista to improve to 31-11 and at the NCAA Division III Regional here in La Crosse. First coach, uh, Brian Robbie, let's talk about the game. Got that lead, they came back and tied, then you had a big uh, rally there to take the lead. Just talk about the game itself. Yeah, I mean, that was a big thing, you know, to jump off and, you know, that was a thing in the previous game that we did not do. We um, we didn't jump off, the, um, uh, obviously, uh, lacrosse did that, and, and that cost us in that game. This game, we kind of jumped off a little bit, and, and once we got it, we got the lead a little bit, we could kind of spread it out, and we had some great hitting here and some unbelievable pitching from this guy here to help us get through it. Talk about coming back right away. You lost earlier in the day, but had yep. the, the team had to come fight right back and try to get to tomorrow. Talk about that. Yeah, that's part of the deal. You know, this isn't uh, last year. It happened to us the other way. We won the first two games, and then we ended up getting beat two games the following day. So uh, a lot of our guys are back. They they experienced that, so we know it can be done. It just is, you know, are we going to step up and be able to do that? So that's going to be a big thing. Obviously, we played Buena Vista, a very good team, and we had to play them twice. And we know what we're up against with lacrosse, no no question. And But, you know, we're, we're excited about it. We're going to be up to the challenge, and we'll see what happens. We'll Sorry, show up. Starting pitcher John Solfes, talking about your performance, eight innings pitched. What was working well tonight for you? Yeah, I mean, just throwing strikes, uh, trusting my defense, trusting the pitch calling from Coach Pete Fuller, and uh, just trusting the game plan, filling up the zone. And they, they put some good swings on the ball. They had quite a few hits, but... Uh, some some good plays in the field and ultimately just throwing strikes was my biggest takeaway. Ty Kane offensively, talk about your performance and the team overall as well. Yeah, it was just taking a pitch at a time, one at bat at a time. Uh, I felt like a lot of us were, you know, were coming up timid in um, some more more previous games, and so it's just about attacking the ball when it's in the zone and leaving it out when it's not. Um, and it worked out. Uh, not swinging for contact, more swinging for actual hits is something that worked out well for us this game. Coach, you touched on, let's talk about tomorrow real quick. Lacrosse, you have to come back, tough for you, you have to win yep. two games, but just talk about what you expect tomorrow. Well, you know, the nice thing was is John really helped us out there. I mean, we had to use uh, one pitcher plus another pitcher for one inning. So theoretically, all of our pitchers that threw yesterday got a full day's rest. So we actually think we're, we're set okay for tomorrow's pitching. We just have to go out there and play our game. And, you know, the first game we got jumped on a little bit and, and a walk, a hit batsman, and then a home run that just went over, and that's part of the game. And they jumped us on us 3 nothing, and we were chasing. And uh, then it, it took us all until the rest of the game, until the ninth inning, to go on and put a four spot up there. So we've got to try to do that a little bit earlier and, and go from there. But we know what we're up against. We understand we're playing a very good team, but they're also playing a very good team. Thanks, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you.